ज्ञान मंडली मॉडर्न स्कूल स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट जी चैप्टर नंबर टू प्रोनाउंस रिविजन वो वर्सेस वो इन जस्ट प्रीवियसली यू वे कंप्लीट द यूनिट नंबर वन विथ एक्सरसाइज वी जस्ट मूविंग फॉर द चैप्टर नंबर टू प्रोनाउंस रिविजन वो वर्सेस वो प्रोनाउंस इन पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस कैन बी डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री टाइप्स पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस कैन बी डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन थर्ड पर्सन सेकंड पर्सन एंड थर्ड पर्सन पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस कैन बी डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री टाइप्स फर्स्ट पर्सन सेकंड पर्सन एंड थर्ड पर्सन we just draw the diagram so you can easily understand first one singular and plural singular and plural what is the difference between singular and plural you know very well first one first person we just know about in previous standard who is first person who is talking first person the person the person who is talking is known as a first person then what is the second person the person who is listening the person who is listening the person who is listening and third person the person the person who is be who is be talk talk about talk about here who is the first person the person who is talking means i am the talking that's why i am the first person second person the person who is listening who is listening this video then the answer is you means you is a second person third person the person who is being talked about this is known as a third person then if the talk about the sujal if the talk about the sujal that's that's why this sujal is a third person if the talk about the puja that's why puja is a third person if we talk about the narrator means uh, if the we talk about the cat dog cow buffalo and not living thing means marker board pen uh, bench benches this is the not living things in also this is we, we will just talk about them then this is the third person we just draw the diagram in singular first person the person who is talking first person i both genders i is also indicate to boys and girls also means both genders in singular first person i second person the person who is listening you just listening this video means you you uh, you are the second person third person third person who is we talk about we just i just give the example sujal means boy and the third person is a he if the talk about the puja puja is a girl that's why the third person is a she and we just talk about the narrator not living things and animals birds in this indicate to it 
he also is a third person in singular we just talk about the singular then let's move in in plural first person indicate to both genders we indicate to both genders we also in a boys and girls also second person plural you he she it plural there okay this is the first person second person and third person first person who is uh, the person who is talking second person the person who is listening third person the person who is being talked about singular and plural i singular is a b you you he she singular change into they you just write down on your book then we further move it Personal pronoun then indefinite pronouns Indefinite pronouns. Pronouns do not do not refer to do not refer to specific person. Specific persons. things or amounts or amounts like each every or much many more most little less least few several enough Someone, anyone, either, and nobody. Personal pronoun then 
indefinite pronouns indefinite pronouns do not refer to specific persons things means these pronouns do not refer to specific persons and things or amounts he just uh, like a quantity each every all much many more most little less least few several enough someone anyone either and nobody this is the indefinite pronouns indefinite pronouns do not refer to specific persons or things or amount we just each everyone all much many more most little less least few several enough someone anyone either or nobody this is the indefinite pronouns next one interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns are used used to ask questions interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions who whom whose which or what interrogative pronouns are used to ask question who whom whose which or what interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions interrogative pronouns are used to ask question who who whose which or what next one a relative pronoun a relative pronoun a relative pronoun refers refers to its conjunction as a conjunction conjunction she did not she did not know the person did not know the person who had who had left left the parcel here a relative pronouns refer to a refer to x indicate and x as a conjunction she did not know the person who had left the 
पार्सल रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन रिफर टू इट्स एंडिकेट एंड एक्स एज अ कंजक्शन यू जस्ट नो वॉट इज द कंजक्शन एंड और बर्थ दिस इज द कंजक्शन शी डिड नॉट नो द पर्सन हु हैड लेफ द पार्सल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट डाउन इन योर बुक देन फर्दर मूविंग Possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are used to express express possession ownership ownership or relationship
possessive pronouns are used to express possession, ownership, or relationship. This is my book. This is my book. Means ownership. This is mine. This is your phones. Means ownership. Yours. Ours. Yours. Ours. Means this is our school. Yours. With phone. His. Hers. Theirs. And its. This is the possessive pronouns are used to express possession, ownership, or relationship like my, your, ours, yours, his, hers, theirs, and its. Now, Reciprocal pronouns. Reciprocal pronouns are used. Are used to express. To use express mutual relationship. Mutual relation. Reciprocal pronouns are used to express mutual relationship like each other, one another, reciprocal pronouns are used to express mutual relationship each other one another possessive pronouns are used to express possession ownership or relationship mine our yours his hers theirs and its reciprocal pronouns are used to express mutual relationship each other one other now Demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative. Demonstrative pronouns. Are used to. Used to point. Point to persons, persons or things, or things that represent, that represent, represent this, that. This or those. Demonstrative pronouns are used to point to personal. Over there. Sorry. It has to form this word. Point to persons, persons or things. Persons or things they represent. Demonstrative persons are used to point to persons or things they represent. This, uh, sorry, this, that, this, this, this is the singular and this, this is the Pronoun. Here, this, that, this in a plural, that change into those in a plural. Now you just standard seven. I think you just know that. First of all, write down on your book.
then move forward. Now, further moving on next pronouns, reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns. Pronouns. Reflect. Reflect back on the speaker. Reflexive pronouns reflect back on the speaker means I am the speaker. Means reflexive pronouns reflect back on the speaker like this myself. Myself, ourselves, ourselves, yourself, yourself, yourselves. Yourself, himself, himself, herself, themselves, themselves, and itself. Reflexing pronouns. Reflect back on the speaker. Reflexive pronouns. Reflect back on the speaker. I am the speaker means myself. Ourselves. This is the in a ruler. Ourselves. Yourself. You just write down on your book yourself. Means to indicate yourself. Then yourselves. This is the Ruler, this is the singular, yourself. This is the singular, yourself, ruler, himself, means indicate to boy, herself, indicate to girl, themselves, means in a ruler, itself, means narrator.
question. Now, further moving in our next video, here, what is your homework? What you write in your book, what we discuss about in this video, you just write down on your book. Personal pronouns. Personal pronouns. Personal pronouns two. Reflexive pronouns. Just repeat these personal pronouns, identify pronouns, interrogative pronouns, relative pronoun, and possessive pronoun, reciprocal pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, and reflex, uh, re reflexive pronouns. You just not to write out emphatic pronouns. Okay, we just complete this our video. We further moving in our next video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.